So, according to every media outlet on the planet, Lacazette to Arsenal is a done deal. Personally, I think it's a load of rubbish. I don't think he is coming. I don't think there's been a bid accepted. Um, I don't even think we're looking at him. But, what do I know? You know, I could be wrong. But to me, this smacks of another Benzema. All summer, talk about one player, and then that one player would then post something on his Instagram saying, this is my club, my heart, blah, 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 and he stays. Um... I hope I'm wrong because I rate Lacazette highly, I really do, and, and the people that have been slagging him saying Giroud's better, mate, you need your heads testing. Just because Lacazette doesn't play for France and Giroud does, does not mean he is better. Yeah, what planet do you lot live on? You lot are the same people that sit there and say, oh yeah, but you know Lacazette only scores against farmers in France in a shit league. Well, hang on, you're the same people that are saying Mbappe's fucking the next best thing, so you know, don't he score against farmers then? Do you know what I mean? Make your minds up. It can't be one for one rule for one and one for another. At the end of the day, I really hope we get Lacazette. That guy's got every attribute to succeed in the Premier League. He's fast, he's physical, left foot, right foot, headers, and he's got a lot of skill as well. I've, I've seen a lot of him, and that guy is so gifted. And I think he'd make a massive impact on our team. But, again... I won't believe it until it's on Arsenal.com. So, until then, I'm always going to be sceptical. The next um, the next thing I want to talk about is Mbappe. That seems to be dead in the water, in my opinion. Um, so does Lamar. Le, you know, the talks of Mbappe and Lamar is, is sort of fizzling out, which I personally knew it would anyway, because there's no way in a million years Wenger's going to spend £100 million on one player. And not only that, He's not going to spend £100 million on that player and then buy Lacazette and Lamar. Then, last night, I'm sat there scrolling through my Twitter feed and a story pops up about Anthony Martial, £40 million bid to Arsenal. Nah. No way in a million years is Jose Mourinho going to weaken Man United and strengthen Arsenal. Ain't up in him. Whoever wrote that story, I didn't even entertain reading it. I just see the headline and just scroll past it. These people have got short memories because it was only a few years ago when he was the manager at Chelsea that he refused to give us Demba Bar. For fuck's sake, man. He ain't selling Martial to us, that's for sure. Come on, man. Wake up. What is the matter with you lot out there? You believe every story. The only stories I'll believe is when it comes up on Arsenal.com, Arsenal have announced the signing of X, Y, or Z. Until then, it's all he said, she said, the agent said, the, the family of the player said. It's all a load of bollocks. Why don't these stories ever come out mid-season? It's always summer stories. It's always the shit-ass journalists that have got nothing to write about. They just make up a story. And I beg anyone out there who works for one of these media outlets, yeah, contact me, because I'll make up better stories that are more believable, that's for sure. Instead of fucking Martial to Arsenal. Really? Come on, man. Anyway, that's me out. Obviously, you can see I'm sat in a car park. Um, just about to go and do a bit of shopping. And then I'm going to go and watch a bit of the Confederations Cup. Which I haven't watched a single minute of so far. And, um, yeah, I'm going to see how, uh, how chilly get on. So, have a wonderful afternoon. I'll leave you all in peace.